Let's talk about something simple but super important in computer science, file paths. A file path is just a way to tell your computer where to find something, like a document or a picture. There are different types. First, an absolute path tells the computer the full address of a file, starting from the very beginning. It's like giving someone a complete home address, very clear and specific. Then there's the relative path. This one gives directions based on where you are right now. It's like saying go to the next room instead of giving the full address. Next we have the canonical path. This is just the cleaned up version of a path, removing shortcuts or confusion. There are also symbolic paths which are like shortcuts or links to another file. And finally, network paths are used when your file is on another computer or a shared network. So when should you use each one? Absolute paths are great for things that never move, like files on a server. Relative paths are better for websites or apps where files move together. Canonical paths are helpful behind the scenes to avoid errors. Symbolic paths are good for creating shortcuts. And network paths are best for shared work in schools or offices. Understanding these helps you organize files better. Whether you're building a website, using a desktop app, or working with servers.